Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys, or unpackaging rather. Uh, there are two packages here, and the only thing on them is number one and number two. Uh, I've had a few people do this before. I did not recognize the name on the outside of the box. Normally it's Scott who does this, but <laughs> no idea. Most likely this was sent by a viewer, but I guess we're going to find out uh, when we open it. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And thanks to whoever sent this. I'm hoping that there is a note inside. So one, I'm assuming this is the first one that we want to be opened. A Gonzo. I haven't looked at a Gonzo on this channel for a very long time. Okay. Uh, let's open it up and take a look. Um, it's possible... I don't know. Let's look. Hold on. Let's look. There is a note. Thank goodness. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Hey, MC, been watching the channel for a few years. It's at 126K as of writing this, but congrats on passing 125K. Thank you. Uh, here's to 125K more. Insert handwriting apology here. <laughs> now your handwriting's fine. Knife number one is... Oh, okay, so it's not a gonzo. Good. Okay. Uh, this has been a light user for me, so feel free to carry and use it, even as your favorite recurve thumb disc setup. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I think I'm going to... Okay. All right, cool. Let's take a look and see. Very intrigued. Ah, ah, okay. All right, so this is called... This is the one that he listed as... The TMX. Oh, oh, I see, I see. There we go. Ah, the Mayo uh, TMX. Oh, cool. Okay, very cool. So these were, he said he had a couple of Mayos, and I said, what models? And he said, why don't you let me surprise you? Uh, yeah, I'm glad glad he did. Beautiful Ergos here. This is digging into my uh, palm just a little bit, but check out that inlay work. Okay. First of all, I love that this is actually textured carbon fiber. That's really cool. Secondly, look at how perfect these inlays are. When I when I critique the edges of inlays, right? Like I had a knife video that I did here recently. I had an unboxing. Where I was like, this is garbage inlay work. Look at this. It's so jagged. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. This is beautiful all the way around. Both sides are Excellent. Very, very excellent. This is CPM 154. Looks like a hand rub satin finished blade. Nice edge there. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. It feels like it's running on phosphor bronze. And I believe... Can we get a flashlight in there? Hang on. Get my new red one here. Can we see... Can we see... It? I'm almost certain that that's what it is. Let me look in my light. I can't see in there. It's sandwiched in so tight. I am almost certain. Uh, that's, I mean, that is that is what it feels like, unless they are nylon, which they could be. I don't know. I have no experience with this. This is an unboxing, not a review. Um, so I, this is something I'm going to have to study for a little bit. Uh, centering is perfect. Action is extremely smooth. It just feels like that very smooth... Uh, you know, real smooth pho phosphor bronze action, right? That's that's just kind of what it feels like. It's very distinctly different from bearings. I'll watch it end up being on bearings. I'm just wrong. I'm trying to figure out the detent and keep my I'm trying to keep my index finger out of the way of that thumb disc. Can I just do it with my? <laughs> there we go. You can get it. Okay. Not yeah. There is. It actually is plenty wide enough here to be able to disengage it. That's cool. That's an interesting one. These are obviously rare uh, and I believe custom knives. So I just not super familiar with it, but that's, it's always fun to look at stuff that I'm not familiar with, right? Broaden my horizons instead of looking at a thousand, you know, knives from, Wii. not that I don't like Wii knives, right? It's just nice to look at something else besides stuff from Wii. Okay. So this, which is also a, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, no way. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I think you'll know what knife number two is. Open and close that one as many times, but please no carrier use. 
I'm pretty sure this is a Dr. Death. Holy crap. That is awesome. Look how big this thing is. Oh, that is so cool. The, you know, I normally am not a big, uh, like, speed hole or, like, you know, weight reduction hole advocate. But the aesthetic of the Dr. Death, if I am not mistaken, right, if I am correct about this, um, the aesthetic of this is one that I think works. I mean, I and I think that's because the first time I saw this knife, it uh, it had the holes. <laughs> Man, look at that. Look at the thumb studs. Look at the thumb studs. Let's zoom in on. Look at the thumb studs. That's so cool. Oh, man. I was ripped. There was a part of me that was like, I really hope he sends that. I really hope that that's what he's sending, but I don't want to hold my breath because what if that's wrong, right? These are definitely custom knives. 100%. Um, God, the... Uh, the thumb stud is in exactly the right place on this one. Can you, ah, it's beautiful. This is freaking, this is a big knife. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my measuring tape? There it is. Overall length. <laughs> Overall length is coming in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, nine and a half, not almost 9.6 inches. Blade length, four and a quarter. Cutting edge, four inches. Oh boy. <laughs> I wasn't sure that I'd ever get to handle one of these. Oh, man, you made my day. That is killer. Beautiful hand rub satin finish on this guy. CTS XHP, you can see here. Nice kind of blasted titanium handles. This is probably from a while ago. You know, I don't know exactly how old this one is, but the Dr. Death and the, the Tom Mail Dr. Death has been around for quite a while. Right, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to get some information from the owner, study up on uh, Mayo knives and study up on both of these models, learn as much as I can. And then of course, you guys will get a full comprehensive review on each of them. Um, if you're wondering where can I get them? You probably can't. I'm gonna guess that's the case. I don't know much about this guy, but I know that this guy is ridiculously sought after. So, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, but I want to talk about it. I want to share, uh, want to, uh, you know, inform people who are not familiar with this. It just so happens that I am, other than just looking at pictures, I am also not very informed on it. So it'll be an, a learning experience for everybody, including me. Um, I don't know that there's really a whole lot more that I can really say in this moment, uh, in this moment, other than wow. Um, and it is absolutely everything that I had hoped it would be, you know, the first time that I, when, when I thought, you know, when I was thinking in my head, what would it feel like the first time handling it? Anyways, thanks for sending these in. Very excited. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.